Hey everyone, today we will learn how to create an ancient classic Greek column in 3ds Max. Let's get started. First, create a small sphere. The size of the sphere will determine the size of the arc inside our pillar, so adjust it accordingly. Add an Edit Poly modifier. Select the top half faces and drag them up to extend. Now, select the side faces of the sphere and delete them as shown in the video. Select the remaining faces and hit flip to invert them. Click on border or press 3. Select the border, right-click, and hit Extrude. Extrude the border with a negative value and hit OK. Select the round edges. Ensure you select the upper edges first, then deselect the lower edges, or you can do vice versa. Align these edges to the Z-axis by clicking on Z and nudge them into place. Repeat the process for the round edges on the lower part of the pillar. Add an array modifier and make 24 copies. Remove any extra edges by clicking Control Backspace. Now, add a bend modifier. Set the angle to 360 degrees, direction to minus 90, and axis to X. Add another Edit Poly modifier. Select all borders and then click Control Vertices to select the vertices. Right-click and apply Weld to the selected vertices. Let's create the upper part of our pillar using a 2D line. Select and start creating the line as per your preference, making necessary adjustments. Apply fillets one by one to all vertices as shown in the video. Apply a lathe modifier. Align to max and flip the normals. Align this part to the pillar and make sure to center the pivot point. Apply a taper modifier and make adjustments.
Simply copy this part in the other direction and drag it down to align with the pillar. Go back to the main pillar, hit attach, and attach these two parts to our main pillar. Select vertices and wield them. Add Turbo Smooth. You've created a classic Greek pillar. If you learned something new, please support me by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.